My name is Rupert Whittaker, and I'm a founder and a patron of THT. So Terry and I met in the uh, early summer of 81 and started dating uh, immediately and it just um, fell into being boyfriends. And he died in, in July 82. And so it was, it was about a year, a calendar year, if you will. Uh, when uh, we were together. The time between his first falling ill, uh, really um, obviously starting to get unwell, and the time he died was only about three months. And he, uh, he went downhill very fast, and he lost weight really fast. He, he, was, he was known as Fat Terry before I knew him, uh, and by the time he died, he'd just lost uh, an enormous amount of weight. You could sort of count his ribs. I was just really worried. I had no idea that it might be fatal. Um, I had, nobody had any idea what it was. And um, until uh, very close to the end, uh, and I said to his consultant physician, do you think it might be this American disease, uh, as it was, you know, called then? And um, uh, and then of course I was dismissed. Um, but, and it turned out to be this thing that uh, eventually became known as AIDS. Very quickly, within a, a month or two after Terry's dying, um, Martin Butler called a group of us together to say we should do something about this, whatever it is. He got the ball rolling and we decided to do, to do something and we weren't quite sure what, but we started trying things and it eventually led to the formation of uh, what at first was called the Terry Higgins Trust and is now the Terence Higgins Trust. Along that way, there were many, many, many fights that uh, I think we won. And I think um, marriage equality is one result of those fights. So where we humanized uh, gay men as uh, in particular, but obviously not exclusively, said that anybody with HIV is a person worth caring for and that their concerns and their lives are equally valid. And getting that was a major shift. Um, it was a pushback against intense homophobia. The reason we have marriage equality today is a result of that humanizing of gay men that says, actually, we deserve care and compassion from the wider community.